All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, Whiskey Before Breakfast. Uh, this was requested that I teach this tune by a member of fiddlevideo.com, so we try to incorporate those as we can. Um, it's a great tune. It's a, a real old-timey, traditional tune. I think Norman Blake had a, a version that a lot of folks have copied or just put their own take on. Um, I have some Texas-style uh, influences in my background, so as you heard in the performance, I'm definitely throwing in some of those Texas-style licks. Um, that's not a great fit for everybody, and so I'll definitely teach you more of an old-time bluegrass version to start off. Um, that'll be the basic melody tutorial, and then uh, in the advanced melody tutorial, I'll, I'll throw in some of those double stops I was doing, um, some of those uh, arpeggio runs and some trills and things like that. Um, and I'll, I'll try to remember all of the things that I played in that advanced melody. We'll break those down in that video. But uh, right now, let's get started with a few chops or saws or potatoes. You can start this um, how you would generally start any other old-time tune. Uh, it's in the key of D, so we can just hit D and A string and either chop to set the tempo or the saws or potatoes, like so. Um, so the notes that start the song are actually pickup notes. There's an A and a B on your G string. The first note, the first beat of the first measure is actually that open D. So keep that in mind. That's your downbeat right there. So I'll play the first couple of phrases and we'll break them down. Okay, so starting off, one, two, and then a run up on your D string. Okay, try that. Okay, and then we go back and catch a two, three. Okay, two, three, open A. And we go all the way up to the B note. So let's play that much. Okay, now um, there's a couple of ways to play this, but I'm just going to strip out the extra notes. So um, we have a one, two, three run. And we pause on that three, so a quarter note. And then you repeat that down a half or a step. Okay, and then we end up with, that's a high third, one, two, one, open, three. Now, that run will keep going, um, and we'll use it to connect with those pickup notes, um, but let's just play so far what we've learned, and we'll stop on that high third C sharp. Okay, so now that you've gotten the basic melody under your belt and feel comfortable with that, I'm going to play through section by section this song and kind of pick apart some of those fun things I did in the performance video. Um, some of them I would recommend, some of them were, were just kind of um, off the top of my head, so that sometimes doesn't work out great. Um, but we'll, we'll pick apart the good ones, um, and then you can put them in where you feel like they belong in this song, because a lot of them are interchangeable. Um, so here we go. I'll play just the first part a couple of times and then dial in on this. Okay, so I put in a triplet run there using a low fourth finger. Okay, two, three, four, which is actually playing a C, um, a G sharp, A flat. And what I did right there, I also put a triplet run on those pickup notes. Instead of, um, I did this. Again, I don't know that I'd play both of them together, um, but you can. Uh, and you can also pick and choose when you want to put those in. Um, 
Um, one thing I sometimes do, just to have fun, is I repeat that first.